Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Minder and I'm an Inside Applications Engineer for Keysight Technologies. In this video, I will demonstrate how to install an application license file into the E5515C wireless communications test set. The 8960 file utility is part of the application software and is downloaded from any E5515C test or lab application download site. You can save this file to your desktop if desired and then double click on the file name and the software is installed. Once installed, you will see the icon here on your desktop. In this video, we will demonstrate the direct connection setup. A direct connection allows you to load the license file into one test set. In addition to the test set, you will need a computer with LAN capabilities and a LAN cable. You can connect to either the test set's front panel data port or to the rear panel LAN port. If you use the test set's front panel data port, a standard LAN cable must be connected between the rear panel Ethernet to front panel and LAN port connectors. The test set is shipped with a suitable LAN jumper cable already in place. If you have a new computer, you can use either a standard LAN cable or a LAN crossover cable. If you have an older computer which does not have an auto sensing LAN, you should use the crossover LAN cable included with the test set's application installation kit. If that is no longer available, then any LAN crossover cable should work. Start the 8960 file utility by double clicking on the desktop icon, accept the license agreement to proceed. Click on the getting started button to start the help section and click on the connecting to the test set link to see the procedure for setting up the LAN connection between the PC and the E5515C. When you redeem your license certificate, Keysight emails you a license file with a .lic extension. Click on the Options button to see where to install your license file. The path for the license file is C colon backslash test underscore set underscore data backslash licenses. Make sure your license file is in this directory. Click OK to return to the file utility main menu. Now click the direct connection single test set button. Enter in the IP address of your test set and click the OK button. When the software connects to the test set, it will see that a new license is in the directory. When you see this message, your license file has been successfully installed in the test set. Make sure you have saved your original license file and then click Yes. After clicking Yes, the software again displays the Choose Test Set screen. Since your license file has been successfully installed, nothing further needs to be done. Click the Cancel button to return to the File Utility main menu. You can now click the Exit Program button to exit the 8960 File Utility Program. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any further questions, please call the Keysight Technical Contact Center at 1-800-829-4444 and someone will be happy to assist you. Thanks and have a great day.